Hello guys, good morning. I am Santosh Singh and today we are going to see these two points. First point, how import data from MySQL using join in Apache Scoop. And second point, where class without query in Scoop. So we will discuss these two things in today's topic. So let's see these things one by one and welcome to my channel. So how to use SQL query in Apache Scoop as we have seen these things in my earlier session that how to use query in Scoop. So like this way we can use query in Scoop and we have discussed these things in detail in my earlier session that how dollar condition work in Scoop and how this query execute in Scoop. This is the syntax for importing and this is the fix for all scoop command import this is the connection string and this is the connection credential and we need to change only these things these things we need to change these things is the scoop keyword you should not change these things you should only change these things so but and in this import connect username and password these all are same with every scoop syntax and we need to change only these things so we have write sql query in apache scoop like this way as we have discussed so many times so now let's see the next things import data from mysql using join in scoop how we can import data from MySQL using join in scoop. So we are going to see join. As you can see this syntax and you can see this SQL query. This is the same SQL query as we write in MySQL. Only difference in MySQL we do not write these things and dollar conditions and Except these things and dollar conditions, we write all these things in MySQL. So the same way we write SQL query in Scoop. In Scoop, we only add and dollar condition with query. So this is the syntax that Scoop space import space double hyphen connect space JDBC colon MySQL double colon forward slash IP address it means host name or any IP address slash DB name in connect syntax we pass the JDBC driver of MySQL and we pass the localhost and we can pass the DB name if we are going to fetch record from a table then we need to pass here DB name that from which DB we need to get record and after that the username and password and we put double hyphen target directory space the path of that target directory and double hyphen query space select a dot star it means any column of table a comma b dot star it means any column of table b from a join b it means from table a join table b on b dot id is equal to a dot id this can be any common id from these both table where a dot column x is equal to parameter and b dot column y is equal to parameter we can put here the any parameter and dollar conditions as you have seen these things so many times and you write these things so many times in mysql but in scoop only we need to add these conditions and after that we can put the number of mapper that how many number of mapper we want to run with this syntax so this is the syntax for joining in scoop so let's see the example example is the same way this is the import statement and this is the all these things scoop space import space double hyphen connect space jdbc colon mysql colon double forward slash localhost slash 
स्लैश सेल्स स्पेस डबल हाइफन यूजर नेम स्पेस रूट स्पेस डबल हाइफन पासवर्ड स्पेस पासवर्ड स्पेस डबल हाइफन टारगेट हाइफन डी आई आर स्पेस यूजर नेम स्लैश वाई टी स्लैश ज्वाइन डेटा दिस इज द टारगेट डायरेक्टरी स्पेस डबल हाइफन क्यूरी स्पेस दिस इज द स्क्यूल क्यूरी विच वी वॉन्ट टू राइट फॉर फेचिंग रिकॉर्ड सो सेलेक्ट एस डॉट नेम दिस इज द एलियास ऑफ स्टूडेंट टेबल एस डॉट नेम काम डी डॉट नेम डी मीन्स डी इज द एलियास ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट टेबल फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स एलियास एस ज्वाइन डिपार्टमेंट एलियास डी ऑन डी डॉट डिपार्टमेंट अंडर स्कोर आई डी इज इक्वल टू एस डॉट डिपार्टमेंट अंडर स्कोर आई डी डिपार्टमेंट अंडर स्कोर आई डी इज द कॉमन कॉलम इन दीज टू टेबल्स सो वी कैन अप्लाई ज्वाइन ऑन डिपार्टमेंट आई डी वेयर एस डॉट कंट्री नेम इज इक्वल टू इंडिया एंड डॉल्ट कंडीशन ऑर्डर बाई डी डॉट नेम सो यू आर वेरी अवेयर अबाउट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्यूरी सो लाइक दिस वे वी कैन राइट ज्वाइन क्यूरी इन स्कूप and it will fetch record and it will write in this target directory and you can notice that in every syntax these uh, sequence of this line is not same you can change sequence it means you can put hyphen hyphen target directory below the query or you can put hyphen hyphen query above the target directory or you can change the sequence of Hyphen m also you can put hyphen m space two above the hyphen hyphen target directory so we can change the sequence of these lines also so when we execute this query then above SQL will display all those students who belongs to India with student name and department name so like this way we can list all those student and their department name who belong to india and it will display order by with department name so in scoop we can write join the same way as we write in mysql so now let's see the next things next things is where class without query in scoop how we use where class without query in scope as we know that we always use where class with sql query till now but now in scope we are going to see that how we use where class without query so this is the syntax like this way we can use where class as we are saying that we can write scope space import space double hyphen connect and this is the connection string space double hyphen table name space space table name and we put the table name from which we want to get record and uh, hyphen m space number of mapper we want to run hyphen hyphen target hyphen dir space the path of the this target directory where we want to store the record of this table double hyphen where space column name and we put the condition here so as you can see that we only put the table name and we only put the where class it means it will get record from this table name and based on this where condition we do not write here sql syntax we only write the connection string and after that the table name and after that the where class as we have discussed that we can change sequence of these things it means we can change hyphen hyphen table space table name below any lines and we can specify hyphen hyphen where space where condition above any lines so we can change these sequence as well so let's see the example this is the example of where class without query so like this way we can write the syntax scoop space import space double hyphen connect space jdbc call mysql colon the host name slash sales this is the database name and double hyphen username space username i put here root you can put your username double hyphen password space password 
यू कैन पुट हेयर योर पासवर्ड डबल हाइफन टेबल स्पेस स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फेच रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम दिस स्टूडेंट टेबल डबल हाइफन टारगेट हाइफन डी आई आर स्पेस द पाथ ऑफ टारगेट डायरेक्टरी वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू स्टोर द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ दिस टेबल एंड डबल हाइफन वेयर स्पेस कंट्री नेम इज इक्वल टू इंडिया स्पेस हाइफन एम स्पेस वन इट मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई ओनली वन मैपर सो वेन वी Execute this command. Then this import statement store all those students in target directory location who belongs to India. This is very simple way that how we can use the where class without query. As you can see, very simple way. We only need to put table name, and after that we only need to put where class. And like this way, it can it can execute the record of this table based on this where class today we have discussed that how we apply join in scoop and how we can use where class without query in scoop thanks for watching and please please subscribe my channel thanks